Oh, I want Quran. to discuss the errors in my Quran because there are no errors in the Quran. Fair enough. I was willing to talk about the textual variants in the Bible, but he wanted to go through the errors of the Quran. I want to go to errors because there are, there are no errors in the Quran, to my knowledge. Just so we're clear, I wasn't running away from the topic. I was quite happy to talk about them. But he wants to change the topic. And the reason why he wants to change the topic is because he knows he's in for a hiding because he realizes really? what he's talking about. I want to see who's going to have the last laugh, you or me, at the end of the so, talk. Brother, you hold this for a second because I have some in my own Quran. So let's talk about the errors in the Quran. Thank you, you can back me up. Oh, back me up! He was so happy to talk about them I'm a minute here. ago, now he wants Mansour to jump into the conversation. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? I'm very confident. You confident a minute ago? But if I'm igno an ignoramus as you call me at times, Mansour will help me. So, right, let me ask you this question. Please do. Can Allah enter into his own creation? Expand on what you mean by that. Can Allah enter into his own creation? I don't understand your question. You can be as obtuse as you like. Does no, everyone no, no, else no. understand the question? No. Yeah. What yeah, the, yeah. How is it you don't Mansur, understand the question? Do you understand the question? What's all? No, no, I thought no, no, no. you're having a discussion on the Quranic manuscripts. That's yeah. what I was trying to listen. Yeah. But that's not discussion. No, no, but, but you were saying Quranic manuscripts and Dan Brubaker. Yeah, you said that. Yeah. So he's changed the topic to Quranic errors. Quran. About the Quranic manuscripts and Dan Brubaker, yeah. and we can have a discussion. Yeah, talk about it. Yeah, let, let we were talking about the biblical no, textual no. manuscripts, and he chose to talk about the Quranic so, Speak to this man. Can Allah enter into the thing that He creates? I can He leave the place where He Manfur. exists? Manfur. No. I'm interested only in Quranic oh. manuscripts discussion. Suddenly he doesn't want to talk about it. You are more he said, than I, am. I am so happy to talk about it. And at the very first question, he's running away. But actually, the discussion is not happening on that. No, it is if it Quran is, Quran. then we can talk yes, about yes, it. Yes, we are. No, the manuscripts. Yeah, it is on Quran, not talking about he's not talking about see, it. He understands the categories that you don't understand. <laughs> that should be a sign to you that you genuinely are ignorant because he understands the categories. I understand the categories. That's why he knows what we're talking about and you don't. But I can talk to him about it, but you need to go away and realize that you don't know as much as you think you I know. agree. Thank you. Well done. I'll shake your hand, sir. Humility is something oh, to be important. Humility. We're all students, right. we're all learning. Oh, that's fine. No one ever can fine. claim to know everything. Now that, we, now that we've moved pride out of the way, yeah. let's yeah. have a sincere conversation. Okay. Please. Go, okay. Go, go. Because I'm much more interested about sincere conversations rather than simply point scoring. Right? Who has pride? You call me ignoramus. You are the proud person, not me. Because you were speaking ignorantly. Now you're speaking from humility. I've just applauded you. I've just applauded you. Okay? A man who is willing to change his temperament to be corrected should be applauded. What I am saying, when I ask the question, can Allah enter into his own creation? What I am asking is that according to Islam, Allah is totally other and to enter into his own creation would compromise the idea of the Islamic God, the idea of Tawheed. Correct. Because the infinite can't become finite and to enter Correct. into in, enter into one's own creation yeah. Yeah, would yeah. compromise that. Like if claim by the Christian that God entered into Jesus Christ. Yes. Yeah. That, that, is, that is what you think we claim. Right. Yeah. So, now, do you believe, now that I've explained it, do you believe that Allah can enter into his own creation? Not in the sense of the Christian belief. Fine. But Allah says in the Quran, I am closer to you than your jugular vein. Yes. Yes. So in he, terms of his power. Correct. Right. He's closer to us than our jugular vein. Yes. But he will not enter into his creation in the sense of the Christian belief. Right. So he won't come in. Now, tell me this. Yeah. Is vision a creative thing? Yes. Yeah. Is vision a creative thing? Yeah. So let me just bring you to something that the Quran Ocular says. vision. Ocular vision. Not, not brain vision. Ocular vision yeah. is a creative thing. So in Surah uh, 75, 22 and 23, this is what the Quran says. Show it to me, please. I'm going to. Surah 75, Ayah 22 and 23. Some faces that day will beam in brightness and beauty 
looking towards their Lord. Correct. Vision is a created thing. Yeah. If you are looking towards your Lord, yeah. then Allah has entered into his creation. No. No, he hasn't. How can they see him? I am looking towards you. You are not. I, I am. Not, you are looking towards me. So you are not entering into me. You can see me. Yes, but you are not entering me because your, your vision is created. Your image. Thank you. Is reflected on my retina in my brain. Can you see something that's not there? Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. Because some people yeah, believe yeah. that they are seeing something which is not there. Does it say they imagined Allah or that no, they were no, looking no, no, no. towards I'm Allah? I'm not talking about that verse. No. I'm talking about your question. You ask I am talking about the verse. The verse comes from the question. That, so ask it again. So the question, and I think we've demonstrated the illogical nature of Islamic belief about Tawheed. That's not true. No, no you are demonstrating have. you're ignorant now. Right, well, correct no, me. You are, you are correct taking the whole correct of Tawheed, correct and me. you are now taking the whole of Tawheed, you're and you're cutting it down. Correct me. Talking about the yeah. it's not about this Absolutely. Yes, totally Thank you very much. Is paradise created by Allah? Yeah. Yes. Is vision created by yes. Allah? So we're still talking about creation then? Yes, there we go. Talking about the hereafter, not this world. Whether Allah enters creation before or afterwards, He still enters creation. And hereafter, there's a different reality. You cannot compare. So Allah can enter creation. No, no. So Allah can enter creation after death. No. Right. No. So if Allah. So this Muslim says that Allah can enter creation. He didn't say that. And this Muslim says that He can't. He didn't say that. Let he me said ask you. Everything he has did, created by Allah. Yes. yes. I yes, ask you yeah. again. You are answering you different can, questions. You can support one another. Because yeah. clearly you need to tag team right now. You're in trouble. You so, are in trouble. So, in trouble. So, who you are in trouble. So, we agree. Nobody's in trouble. We you agree. Nobody's in trouble. We agree. Nobody's in trouble. Nobody's in yeah, trouble. these two are in trouble. You no, can help no. Them. Well, you nobody's in trouble. No, you I'll are in trouble. You are going to Please say. Allow me. Nobody's in Allow me to ask the question. Yes, you can. You do. Ask Indeed, question. you can. Okay, thank you. You are taking yes. those verses out of the context. You know that. Yeah? Let me finish. That's in the context of here, Rafta. Not Correct. in this world. Let me deal with that. Correct. You're Let me deal with that. Let him deal with it. Come on. Thank you. Let's see. Okay. So, we all agree that we are created. Yes. We all agree that paradise is created. Yes. We all agree that vision is created. Yes, yes, it is. We all agree that according to Islamic doctrine, Allah cannot enter creation. Correct. Cannot. Cannot. Does it not. Is, uh, that cannot. It does, does not be fit his majesty. You get Correct. Nonsense, you get so correct. it does not. So correct. the question is nonsense. Yes. So it does it not. Yes. I'm, happy not. Okay. Does does not. I'm happy to change it. I'm happy to change it. Allah does, does, not, does, does not enter creation. Okay. Come okay. Well, are, we are we agreed? Correct. Are we agreed? Yes. Question. Are we agreed? Yes. 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 I'm going to try and tell you. Come on, then. Do you have to show us? Very doesn't apply. Does he enter into his creation? Yes or no? No, he doesn't. Be no. Better. No. It's not a yes/no question. He doesn't. Tell me what I'm saying. Tell me what I'm saying. It sounds right. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't fit his majesty. Is it? Thank you. He said no. It doesn't make sense. The question is nonsense. He says it's not possible. So I. I was the right the first time. Yeah, yeah. The question is right a nonsensical question. That's no, nonsense. you just confirmed the logic of the question. Anyway, so now we've established the framework. Let's think logically. It says in the Quran, some faces that day, so some faces is a created thing. That day is a created thing. Will beam with brightness and beauty. They're created things. Looking, that's a created thing. Towards direction is a created thing yeah. to their Lord. Correct. Yes, and so Allah reality, has entered his creation. No, he hasn't. They contradict their own birth. No, no, right, no, no. So reconcile the contradiction. And I explain to you earlier. I'm listening. Number one, you cannot compare what happened in this world with what happened the year after. The laws are different. Gravity exists here, gravity may not exist in the year after. Yes. Okay, if you leave a stone here, that, that it may fall to the ground. Yes. In space, it doesn't do that. Yes. In heaven, I have no idea what it does. No one has mentioned it. Because we don't know. It may do all three things. It may float, it may fall, it may do nothing. Okay? So, therefore, your question is therefore illogical. It has no basis in fact. It doesn't befit the majesty of the Lord. Your, your yes, question. No so ask us a question which will fit the majesty of the Lord and we will attempt to try and answer it. Okay, let me reply to his argument. Okay. 
So his argument was that at this point in creation, the laws are different from the next point in creation. Totally. That there's a division line between death. Correct. And what can't happen in this point of creation can happen in the next point yes. of creation. Yes. Have I mischaracterized your argument? No. So I'm being fair to you. Yeah. However, if you listened earlier, he gave an absolute answer that Allah cannot enter his creation. I withdraw that statement. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. No, sir. When he was talking, I withdraw the statement. Let me reply. Let me reply. Stop being rude. Let me reply. So now he has withdrawn his statement. Yes, illogical. Let me reply, sir. Try to calm yourself. Now you're behaving like you were before. Okay. And you were doing so well. Come on. Now. So now the fact of the matter is, notice the heckling, yeah. it's all the time, when you point out the errors of their book, they can't there have a rational no dialogue. No, no, there no, there no, no, they can't have a rational dialogue. There are 50,000 errors in the Bible. Triggered. Triggered. Let me deal with his argument. Yes. Let me deal with his argument. Because now, my Muslim interlocutor has agreed that Allah can enter into his no, creation. No, no, no. There you go. Allah, you are lying. They jump from one foot to the next foot. He has lying. 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 Don't change the God. subject. I'm just reminding you, you that Allah don't change is not the subject. only a Muslim. He's a big man. You just said that Allah can't enter his creation, but then you agreed. No, no, he no, said no, to no, you. Well, now he's going to change it. Again. No. His statement. I would my statement. He said to you, I would withdraw his statement. It does not so can, take that on board. can Allah enter his creation? The question does not befit the majesty of Allah. Let me rephrase the question to befit the majesty of Allah. Yeah. Would Allah enter into his creation? And no, the answer is the same, that what? he does not befit his majesty. So is that yes that he would or yes that he wouldn't? The answer will not change irrespective of the way you ask it. So is, he, is that a yes or a no? It is the same ask answer. Ask in a different manner. Whichever way you ask it, it does not befit the majesty It sounds to me like my own Muslim interlocutor is being deliberately obtuse. No, it's no, not. not. No, it's you not. You are tangential. Indeed it's not. I may be obtuse, ask, but you are tangential. Please answer the question. However you want it phrased, yeah. I simply want to know, in any possible universe, would Allah enter into his creation by compulsion or choice? To answer you, according to what the Christian belief is, the answer is no. No. According to the Christian belief, I said. Right. So let me tell you what we Christians believe. What do you believe? Tell us, please. And then uh, we will see why he's contradicted by his own holy book. No! Come on, let's hear his say now. Come on. The position, it sounds to me like you're trying to defend, is that it does not befit the honor of Allah, the majesty, I think. The majesty of Allah, whatever word you want to use, yes. to enter into his creation. Correct. Right, so I am not being unfair. About what? About my question. Which is what? That we see in the Quran that faces are created things, days are created things, brightness and beauty are created things, vision is a created things, direction is a created thing. And the Quran says this, some faces that day will beam in brightness and beauty, looking towards their Lord. Now let me ask you this question, if the Lord here is not referring to the person of Allah, who is it referring to? What's the relevance of that question? You know the answer. Why are you asking me what you know already? Answer me, ask me something which you don't know. Sounds to me like he won't accept that he doesn't know the answer. I know the answer. What is? And you know it too. So what is it? Perambulating on the outskirts of veracity and verbosity. Absolutely right. He's 100% right. You'd rate the you rhetoric. Now answer, 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 answer the question. Do you want to hear him answer my question? Yes. Yeah. So the question was, and maybe you can help him. Come on, Dean. So come on, Mr. Muscles. 
<laughs> answer me this. Mr. Why are you asking the same question in the Because you haven't answered it, you've avoided it. I haven't answered it. The quest, work together, help one another. You are making the your own The question I'm saying 10 seconds. You are making your own The word word. You are making your own He's not referring to Allah. He's making his own word. Who is it referring to? Asking the same question in 10 different ways will not change my answer. Which is? That it does not befit the majesty. Go to the next question, please. Did anyone hear an answer to my question? Yes. Who is being referred to when it says they were looking towards their Lord? Allah. God. There you go. But, but that doesn't there you go. They were looking towards Allah. Now is vision a created thing? Yes. Is direction a created thing? Yes. Is the day a created thing? Yes. Is paradise a created thing? Yes. Is their face a created yes. thing? Is beauty a created thing? Yes. yes. Then how can you say Allah has not entered into his because creation? Because you are not giving your hand, you are saying a thing which is not true. You're going in so so exactly. your Quran is false. No, you I are agree false. with you. Your no, Quran is false. false. No, you are false. 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 Let me tell you this. Not my God. No, no. Don't touch it. Yes. The Quran. No, no. You said the Quran. And no one you will change the Quran. Lies. Let me tell you, you are being Allah who Akbar. You are being the Quran has yes. already the Quran been changed. will never change. It's never and been changed. no one it's will never change the Quran. Changed. Let me tell you, it's no already one will change it. People like you it's will already change the Quran been changed. with your words. Let me tell you, the Quran will change with your words. That is not the Quran. That's your Quran. Let me tell you one thing. Allah who Akbar. This supremacist. I got no more time for you. And that's it. No, they all run away. Do you see, brothers and sisters? Their own book is full of contradictions. They attack the Bible here at the corner, week in and week out. But yet, when we Christians point out the contradictions in their book, they can't handle it. You can't have it both ways. Either Allah can enter into his own creation, in which his case you can see him, or Allah cannot enter into his creation. And if he cannot, the Quran contradicts you.